sugar, it's everywhere. In the U.S., more than half our cane sugar comes from Florida's Glades region, and it comes with a side of flames and smoke. The first step in sugarcane harvest is burning. The growers, like nature, use fire to clear. It rids the stalks of excess leaves, making them easier to cut and mill. Some residents in these mostly low-income communities of color have said for years the smoke and ash are making them sick. Florida's largest sugar companies say the burns are safe, well-regulated, and couldn't be stopped without significant economic impact. But the U.S. is an outlier on the global stage. In Brazil, it's a totally different story. Brazil is the world's largest producer of sugarcane. Sao Paulo State outlawed burning years ago, and farmers have reduced the practice there by about 99%. Só me permite uma coisa, a prática da queima ela é muito rudimentar. Ela é uma prática, eu diria assim, preguiçosa. Os Estados Unidos é um país de primeira linha, a gente entende que é um país bem desenvolvido, né? E eu jamais eu ia esperar que lá se queimava cana. European colonists brought sugarcane to Brazil in the 16th century. Throughout the Western Hemisphere, it was a colonial crop that enslaved people were forced to grow. Originally a precious export for European royalty, over the centuries, it became a household staple and an international commodity. Burns were introduced in Brazil in the 1960s. A cana era queimada para facilitar o corte manual. Fire was used to clear the way for workers who were getting injured by sharp leaves and bitten by animals that hid in them. The cane they harvested became multiple products sugar, ethanol for fuel, and electricity from leftover plant material. A época da queima de cana era uma época muito sofrida, né? Acabava com, com o solo, o meio ambiente, a natureza também sofreu bastante. Environmental activists protested to the government. So did citizens, rich and poor, in Brazil's most powerful and populous state. A região norte da cidade amanheceu assim, encoberta por foligem proveniente da queima da palha de cana. Children who had asthma or bronchitis, they became very sick during the months where sugarcane was being harvested. We saw that where we have more plantations, more burning, we had more hospitalizations and more mortality for respiratory disease. Consultórios médicos especializados na parte respiratória estão com as salas de espera cheias. Throughout the 2000s, pressure was building. Havia um apelo da sociedade é, para você eliminar essa questão da queima. There was opposition in the newspapers, on television. Moradores reclamam da fuligem da queimada da cana. Ela prejudica o meio ambiente e, consequentemente, a saúde pública de todos os moradores aqui. Diariamente eles tocam fogo e aí fica insuportável a cidade. In 2002, São Paulo State Government passed a law phasing out the burns. A few years later, the sugar industry worked with them to speed up the timeline, eliminating nearly all burning by 2017. In Brazil, there were two big simultaneous changes, from hand cutting, to machine harvesting, and from burnt cane to raw cane. It required major investments by the sugar companies, especially in machinery. 
government policies encouraged ethanol production and use, and other forms of renewable energy. In the end, stopping the burns paid off. Hoje a gente dá para mensurar muito bem que é muito mais vantajoso para o produtor ou para a usina fazer a colheita eh, sem a queima. You had a smaller, better trained workforce operating machines instead of toiling in the fields. Hoje não tem carvão. Você consegue ter respirar um ar, um ambiente até melhor hoje. And raw cane had significant farming benefits. The big difference is this stuff, these outer leaves called straw or leaf trash. When you burn, most of it goes up in smoke. When you harvest raw cane, it's blown back onto the fields. In Brazil, that straw is now highly valued. In most places, it enriches and protects the soil, so they leave it on the ground. In places where too much can harm the cane plants, they gather it up off the fields. Some is sent to mills where it's used to generate electricity, which is then sold to the grid at a profit. Ela é mais uma fonte de matéria-prima que traz renda e riqueza ao setor. In Florida, that same straw is portrayed as useless at best, harmful at worst. Safe Communities, an advocacy group with ties to the sugar industry, sent out flyers warning residents that mounds of straw on the ground would bring rats and snakes to their yards and increase the risk of wildfires. Eu acho essa justificativa muito frágil, porque você já tem outros benefícios com a cana crua. E sempre, qualquer, qualquer sistema, método, você vai ter coisas positivas e coisas negativas. We're talking about pollution in the air that will affect everybody. And you are asking me, but if we have an infestation of insects, well, let's deal with it. Brazilians have adapted with effective pest control strategies and fire brigades at every mill. Nationwide, almost 90% of Brazil's cane fields are now harvested without burning. American sugar companies point out that more cane is burned in Brazil than Florida, which is true, but only because Brazil's overall production is so much larger. In Florida, harvesting was mechanized long before Brazil, but the practice of burning never stopped. It's the cheapest way to prepare for the harvest, maximizing profits. The state government's approach has been to regulate the burns instead of banning them. Since the early 1990s, burns have not been permitted when the wind blows east towards whiter, wealthier places like West Palm Beach. But they're still allowed when the winds blow towards the glades, where about a third of the population lives in poverty. The state tightened restrictions in 2019, but the overall number of burns has held steady. The sugar companies are currently fighting a lawsuit from residents. The companies argue that the air quality in the glades is good. Florida Crystals previously told us that Florida shouldn't be compared to Brazil because of differences in soil, climate, and regulations. In Brazil, there's no going back and experts say their methods for harvesting raw cane are transferable. Se não tiver um problema sério, eu não vejo razão nenhuma para você fazer a prática da queima para depois colher mecanizada, né? A forma de trabalhar com a palha é uma tecnologia que pode ser desenvolvida e utilizada em qualquer país do mundo, como aconteceu aqui no Brasil vai ter que fazer uma seleção de novos varietais que se adaptem a, a esse novo contexto de produção. E daria sim para fazer, daria para fazer. We done it here in Brazil. We have done it. So, I believe they can do it in Florida.